And I think this space is meant just to show how different we are, but yet we can share like the same values and that one being creative. I think right now, um, our creative minds are struggling. You are now listening to the Conscious Creative Corner, the intersection of unapologetic lifestyle and creativity. Get ready to be inspired and dive into uncensored truths with tackling business and mental space with other transparent influencers and entrepreneurs. Let our conscious conversations normalize the chaos you may call life. Our episodes will give you the confidence you need to zone in on your creativity and manifest your innate abilities to create. Let's get consciously creative. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, creatives, to the Conscious Creative Corner. I am your host, Sia, and today we are going to be talking about Black spaces for Black creatives and specifically honing in on why I created the Conscious Creative Corner. It's just me today, guys, but I thought it was important to come to you and really express my wanting and need to have the Conscious Creative Corner. Now, I've had many people reach out to me who wanted to be on the show, and I had to slightly turn them down very politely. And some of them I I just kind of like left on red because I was tired of reiterating my meaning and wanting for having this space specifically for Black creatives. So, you know, people ask me, why, why, why can't I be on the show? Or, you know, why aren't you returning my messages as to why I think I'd be a good fit? And plain and simply, my like one liner is you're not a black creative. Yeah, I could go into depth. But for some, I'm just like, I don't need to really explain to you why my platform is not for you. And I shouldn't say not for you, but it's not meant for someone who has your creative space because there are so many different places online or, you know, in publications, print media that showcase these other nationalities and ethnicities. But for me specifically, I wanted this space for Black creatives you know so so for many many years um we as a people we've been oppressed and we've had our ideals repressed due to not fitting into a mold or you know oh no you're not corporate enough oh you know you're not (laughs) my favorite um you're not professional enough or um your vision just just doesn't fit what we're looking for i'm so sick of hearing that and i was sick of hearing that for others too i'm a part of many communities where um like the woman of I think it's Women of Color Podcaster Network or, you know, Black Podcaster Networks where people are just like, you know, I was shut down this many times. I was told, no, I couldn't even get my foot in the door. They didn't even want to hear from me because of my profile picture. I'm just like, I'm so sick of this. So I have this platform for Black creatives. Now, I've never explicitly said, yeah, this is only for Black creatives, but I'm really thinking about changing my intro to to highlight that point um I didn't think I needed to but because I'm having an influx of inquiries now um I think maybe if I start to put that out there people will be more I guess or less inclined to reach out to me um with their company that doesn't really embody uh black creativity you know I think this space really creates freedom for people And it gives them the ability to show who they are um, and that we're not all the same. You know, like Felicia is not the same as Kadisha. Kadisha, just because she might have dark skin, is not the same as Trisha. And the list just kind of goes on. And I think this space is meant just to show how different we are, but yet we can share like the same values and that one being creative. I think right now... um, our creative minds are struggling, especially with, and struggling can be in a good way or a bad way. But in this way, I'm thinking about struggling with the idea to want to create um, and infuse what's going on in the world. Uh, and right now, my whole meaning in life is to build a community, just a community of hope, um, a community of change. And I'm really hoping that, you know, the Conscious Creative Corner can do that. So what I do want to know, though, is you guys hit me up in the comments um, or the review section and let me know, depending on where you're listening to this podcast. um, And let me know, do you think I should add this into the intro that specifically states, you know, I'm here for black creatives. So I did want to kind of take two steps to 
highlight a black creative that I have been watching, actually two black creatives I have been watching um, for the past couple of months and those that have emerged. And one of them being um, Pat McGrath. McGrath? I never know how to say this until I watch like a video on a person, but then I even feel like they're not saying the name right. But all I know is that she does wonderful, she has a wonderful makeup line, okay? She's from Northampton. She's born, um, I'm not sure if she was raised there, but born Northampton. Um, and she's a makeup artist and she launched a makeup line. And her line is amazing, right? Uh, just this kind of, I took this ex excerpt from Vogue. I guess her line allows those of us, us in quotations, who don't get the privilege of sitting in the in her chair, the opportunity to emulate her famous techniques at home. Pat, you're amazing, right? So even before she launched her Pat McGrath line or labs, um, she had all of this cooking up in her head. She knew she wanted to do this. So now the industry kind of knows her as Mother, a nickname that perfectly really embodies this British editor at large. A second one is a university student. Her name is Bianca Saunders. She went to the Royal College of Arts and graduated. And now she has this great clothing line where her fabrics... Uh, they kind of tell a story. Um, her line tells a story. She incorporates landscaping um, and everything else into her line. She's also London-born, but a, a woman of color. And it really encapsulates, her brand really encapsulates the black male identity to really integrate more traditional, I guess, feminine aesthetics into her, her offerings. And now she has this contemporary menswear line. And I'm just so proud of us as a community who are breaking these molds, the molds that uh, the people of the molds who said, no, you can't do this. And now look at us. We're, we're flourishing. We're combing through all of the no's and woes of the world and making our way into the light and and it's sad because once you blow up, that's when people are knocking at your door. But I want us to have people knocking at our door before we blow up, before, and I'm going to use this term loosely, before a um, non-person of color, or because so, sometimes there's people of color who are trying to still fit the mold and tell us no, but before someone who who, know, who doesn't notice our capabilities says no to us, I want us to want to want them to want us. Does that make sense? So I want us to want them to want us. I don't want them to want us once we've made it. I want you to want me when I'm still eating cereal for lunch and dinner because I don't have anything but my craft, okay? I am really hoping that this here episode really explains and, and it, it showcases my yearning and desire to help other Black creatives showcase what they have as talents. And one of the main places that I know does this is blackcreatives.com. So that's B-L-K creatives.com. I am so in love with them and what they're doing, especially because the writer in me, um, they inspire me to write again. Not that I've stopped, but a lot of my written work has become more um, business oriented. From time to time, you'll see me uh, write about what I started off with, right? Reviews, hip hop community, um, reviews with um, movies and things like that. They, they inspire me to do so. But right now, my, my niche is business, but they do amazing work. So I want you guys to go hit up blackcreatives.com. They showcase the possibilities of black creatives, much like the CCC. And if you guys are still not with it, CCC, the Conscious Creative Corner, okay? They have resources for creatives to build on their future and tell me where you can find that all in one place, right? They also put up a job list. And so if you are a black creative right now and you are in need of an intern, trust me, intern save the world. Shout out to my intern right now. Love you, girl. You're going to hear from her soon. If you're in need of an intern or a job, hit up blkcreatives.com. Look at their job listings or post a job. Help another creative or help another person of color find their way 
to some Monet and just kind of comb through some of the things they have because I'm sure whatever they have can help someone else or share it with a friend, okay? I also want you to share this episode with a friend since we are talking about sharing and we're in that spirit of giving back. Give this episode to someone or any of my episodes out there to someone that is in need of inspiration, someone that really needs to hear that their creativity matters. And in the words of Melissa Kimball, this world does not move without black creativity. So guys, go out there, be great and create. Hey creatives, thanks for listening to the Conscious Creative Corner. If you like the show, be sure to rate, subscribe, and review on Apple Podcasts or the listening platform of your choice. It helps other creatives find ways to listen to our uncensored truths. Be sure to check us out on Instagram to let us know how you enjoyed the show with a screenshot or a DM. We'll be sure to feature you. You can send your screenshots to the CCC Podcast or the cccorner.com. If you are struggling with finding your creativity, check out the show notes for your free guide and tips on creating content in your creative zone. Don't let this episode stop you. Share this episode and visit our Patreon page for cool bonuses and to be involved with the creative community that listens here on our podcast. We'll also be showing you and giving you cool tutorials on how to unleash your creativity. I'll talk to you in the next episode.